As it turns out, the best 2-in-1 laptop to date is just a bigger Surface Book, one that can play the latest PC games and last for a hell of a long time to boot. Not to mention that this is the best tablet for drawing that we've tested yet, too. We just wish Microsoft did a bit more with the extra space afforded by the new 15-inch form factor. Although we loved it, you can't deny that the original Surface Book was divisive to say the least. The dynamic fulcrum hinge deserved the spotlight for some, but for others, it was a wonky design choice that made Microsoft's first laptop, regrettably, harder to love. The bad news is that the hinge is back in full force. The good news is that not only is it sturdier, but the Surface Book 2 is wholly better than its predecessor. Not only that, but you can now get it in both 13-inch and 15-inch configurations, of which there are 7 in total. They cost less than a MacBook Pro with touch bar to start, but the price can be hiked immensely from there. That's especially the case with the 15-inch version, which we've reviewed here, though we've also reviewed the 13.5-inch Surface Book 2 for the sake of comparisons. In the following paragraphs, you may be shocked to find out that the difference is more than 1.5 inches of display real estate. There are some major spec differences to be had here, as Microsoft attempts to justify the $1,000 premium of the 15-inch Surface Book 2. Surprising no one, the 15-inch Surface Book 2 is a hugely expensive laptop, with the configuration we've tested coming in at a crazy $3,299, about £2,503, $4,341. Naturally, this is the highest end that the Surface Book 2 gets, with the entry-level model starting at a still steep $2,499, about £1,847, $3,288, its only difference being a much smaller 256 GB SSD inside. Sadly, the 15-inch version of the Surface Book 2 won't be available in the UK or Australia until 2018, we're told. The 13.5-inch version starts at $1,499, £1,499, $2,199, for a 7th generation KB Lake Intel Core i5 processor with integrated graphics and 256 GB of storage, getting the NVIDIA GTX 1050 graphics and 8th generation Intel Core i7 CPU will cost you $1,999, £1,999, $2,999, with each storage option from there costing another 500 bills in all currencies. The 13.5-inch version of the Surface Book 2 is different enough from the 15-inch version that we felt it warranted a separate review, explaining our deliberate choice to write one.